and gentlemen, today I found a unicorn. This 2003 Prevo Liberty Coach is a non-slide Prevo XL2. There's a lot of benefits of having a non-slide coach that I wanna tell you about today. And this coach is on the market for sale. So I wanna give you a full tour of it. We're gonna go through the basement bays and show you this coach. So this coach has had a meticulous maintenance history. I've actually had a history with this coach. I've known it from the previous owners to the current owners and been able to follow it. And it's been extremely well documented. So let's go through the basement bays here. So bay one, and the first thing I've got to point out about these Prevo XL2s is when you open and close these basement bays, I mean, it's like opening and closing a vault. So bay one here is gonna have a slide out tray that's gonna be a manual slide out tray. And it's, let me uh, pull this out here for you guys. And it's a half slide out tray. So it's not the full pass through tray, but it is a full pass through bay. And I actually prefer the manual slide out trays, just really uh, industrial. You've got outlets here and the light inside of your bay. And you can tell by the condition of this carpet here, this carpet is all in excellent condition. Sometimes in these buses that are 18, 19 years old, they've got all kinds of rust stains and whatnot. Even the stainless here is in good condition. Um, as we're going around the coach, I wanna show you guys some of the Liberty Coach features. What you'll notice right here is these lights. And these lights go all the way down the side of the coach. These are LED lights as well. They've been upgraded and nothing like that stainless side. Bay two is gonna be a storage bay. You've got all of your carpets, outlets there. Uh, this coach does have bus air and cruise air. You're gonna have an outside spigot here. You wanna pull this out and wash your dog. Cool. Yeah, so this is gonna be your hot water heater. There's that industrial water pump. That's a Mach 5 water pump. If you back up there, you can see the condition of this stainless, all in excellent condition. Here's your tank monitors. And then you have your starboard side dump. You can uh, dump from both sides of the coach. On the inside of this door, you have a little paper towel here if you need to uh, clean your hands up. As we go around this coach too, I want to just point out over here, we're hanging out here at Pacific Shores Motor Coach Resort today and these nice Zipti chairs come with the coach. These are the Liberty Coach Zipti chairs uh, and there are four of them total. And as we're going around as well, one thing I really want to point out that's cool about this coach, oh, you've got the outlet here so you can plug in on both sides of the coach. But also this coach has chrome wheels. That's a huge upgrade. The aluminum wheels, you're gonna to have to polish all of the time. So really nice not having to uh, polish your wheels. Um, and then the Liberty Coach, this is one of the things that Liberty Coach does. All of these little dressings here, just so well done. We're gonna have some outlets in here. Sounds like that mouse blocker system is going. This does have a extremely expensive mouse blocker system installed to keep the rodents out of it. I think it was like a three grand system. Uh, looks like you got your water filters here. Of course, this coach does have the Detroit Diesel Series 60. It's got about 96 or 97,000 miles on it. I did the entire video test driving it up the Oregon coast here. Absolutely beautiful driving coach. And you know, I try, I always get so excited about these coaches, but I've driven a lot of coaches and I really believe this non-slide Liberty is just smooth. It's lighter, I can definitely feel that it's a little bit lighter, but still that heavy build quality. A lot of people will say that a non-slide coach drives better than any coach, uh, and they'll say a, a Liberty coach drives better than any other Prevo out there. So I test drove the non-slide Prevo Liberty coach really hands down, second to none. The weight of it, it's gonna be lighter than a coach with the two slide outs, and then one of the big things too while we're talking about that i just want to hit on is not having slide outs it's a lot less maintenance and it's a lot less stuff that can break when you have to maintain those slide out seals or you get air leaks in those that can get really expensive to replace those slide out seals and some of the other older prevos so a lot of people see a lot of value in having a non-slide prevo and then without having those slides it's just more balanced and just drives better as well so let's take a look inside here and i've just got to point out here how liberty coach dresses everything out um, everything from the liberty coach back here 
to the stainless bezels over the brake lights there. And there's that Series 60, beautiful engine. You can tell it's in good condition. Uh, the current owners had this uh, tape here uh, put on in case you need to change a belt or something on the side of the road. Uh, just kind of an extra safety feature that they added. Here you've got your belt tensioner, um, makes it a lot easier if you do need to change those belts. So a lot of stuff that Prevo does. I mean, people that know the, the Prevo bus and know the machine that this is, just an incredible machine back here. And people that know the Series 60, I mean, they love it. Got the rear view camera here. And then I'll point out Liberty Coach has that rear spoiler. It's a little bit higher profile. Kind of a cool look. I do see there is a little bit of damage up there on uh, one of the sides there, just to point that out. One of the other benefits of having a non-slide coach is, is when you put out these huge Girard awnings, you've got even more patio space than if you have a uh, slide out here. So, and then also too, right now we're at this beautiful resort where there's plenty of room, but a lot of RV parks don't have a lot of room. So there's actually a huge benefit to not having to put the slide outs out. You've just got more space around your campsite and you're never hitting your head on a slide out. You're never climbing under slide outs, going into basement bays, all of that good stuff. Stainless is just so beautiful. Side radiator coach. Again, all those chrome wheels. Um, these tires have date codes, the 26th week of 2019. Uh, so fresh Michelin tires on it. Front tires have been upgraded to the 365s as well. That's a huge upgrade that a lot of people know. And I want to point out too, those lights that we talked about on the other side, these same lights are on both sides of the coach. When you're out here trying to uh, hook up at night or something, when you can put those lights on, really a nice feature to have. People don't think about lighting and how important it is, not only inside the coach, but outside the coach. And Liberty Coach doesn't you know, skimp on any details. They've been in business for over 50 years. And yeah, here's the plumbing bay back here. And you can see all that copper and stainless, that huge Liberty Coach uh, generator bay here. And let's take a look inside. This has the 20 KW. And you can see if you look here, all that copper plumbing and tubing, just beautiful how they, finish that out and 20 kw kohler generator here yeah so this does have new airbags on the generator as well those have been recently replaced i will point out to normally this is insulation here this does need to be re-insulated the inside of this generator bay cruise air and bus air if i didn't already mention uh, magnum 4000 inverter it's got the twin magnum 4000s it's gonna be your uh intake for your uh, your radiator for your uh, generator the air intake there and, uh, just under 1400 hours on the generator and one really cool thing that this coach has too is a 50 amp buddy plug that 20 kw generator is so powerful that you can actually plug in here either a trailer a stack or trailer or one of your buddies if they need to uh plug in so and this is all lined with carpet and you can just tell how good of condition it is and if you look over here a lot of very a lot of the instructions are very clear and liberty coach really thought out the operating systems so bay one here this is going to be the other side of that storage bay you can see all lined with stainless nice spot for a nice uh, snap-on toolbox there built in on rollers this is the mandalay edition this is what it's all about. A lot of really cool stuff going on inside of this coach. The first thing I want to point out is these seats and the texture on it. You've got this two-toned leather with this dark chocolate and then a saddle color two-toned with this pattern there uh, in the chocolate color. And the seats are in very good condition. And then when you go over to the cockpit area, Liberty Coach Dash, and yeah, let's put that up. Let's just hit one button there. And then those blinds, those shades will come up here for us. Yeah. 
Yeah, and then we can just see the colors of these uh, of this chair, just absolutely beautiful. In the Liberty Coach cockpit area, you've got this cup holder, uh, rear view camera, and it just drives on like anything I've seen. If you haven't already seen the video I did test driving this coach, it's definitely worth checking out. Just nothing like the non-slide Liberty coach. So the first thing I wanna point out in this coach is the ceiling here. Just a really cool kind of a Venetian style print. Absolutely beautiful. And then I really like this chair over here. You've got a saddle color chair here, almost like a workstation here. So you can see uh, when I sit down here, I've got, a drawer here you can almost use this as a countertop space shelving space here as well as a little bit of countertop space here you've got an area for a printer some of your entertainment components are housed in this area here and then i want to point out all of the lighting that liberty coach does not on not only underneath this countertop here but underneath this countertop here around the windows in the ceiling there I mean, just incredible lighting all over the coach. This sofa does jackknife out. You just press a button right here. And boom. And so that's the nice thing is this is a non-slide coach. But even with that sofa out, you can walk through the coach. So now normally you would only want to use that when someone was sleeping. Then you just press a button and it goes back in. So the biggest benefit of having a non-slide coach is your floor plan never changes, your storage never changes, and you do have more storage in a non-slide coach because that area for the slide outs isn't taking up the storage. Now, when you stop either at a truck stop or just get to an RV resort, you don't have to spend any time putting your slide outs out. And then as I mentioned before, there's no maintenance on those slide outs, the slide seals, the slide outs can break. I know in some of the Prevo slides, there's a pin that can break a window I've heard. I'm not sure the exact details on that, but just more problems that can happen that can ha happen with having a slide out. Uh, and then when this is a non-slide coach, this is a, you know, a steel cage. This has that Prevo monocoque construction. I've talked about it in previous videos. This, this vehicle, is a machine that's built to haul passengers down the road. Uh, this has safety standards unlike any other motorhome in the market. So a lot to be said about a non-slide Prevo. Not only does it drive better than anything else, but when you get to where you're at, you don't have to mess around with anything. It's less time you have to spend. You can just enjoy your coach and it sits the same way whether you're going down the road or stopped and camped out somewhere. So then coming into the coach here, we have a galley area off to this side, and a nice little workstation here. You can see um, you've got a laptop set up right here. You've got that beautiful view out your windows, your Crestron controls as well. These are going to control your awnings, your blinds, um, your air doors. You can unlock, you know, your bathroom doors, all kinds of stuff. You can turn your generator, your living room, audio, video, bedroom, lighting controls, all done right here on this Crestron system. A lot of storage here. I'll start opening this up. You can see Liberty Coach finishes out the insides of the cabinets. As you know, you can see they're lit inside of the cabinets. Uh, really cool backsplash. I like the design that they used here. And this is one thing that I really like that Liberty Coach does. They keep their paper towel holder roll out of the way. They've got the signature little spot for your paper towel roll. Boom. Just so well engineered. We all need a paper towel roll. Very well thought out. And then more storage here. Still got some, some stuff in there. Get your little Black & Decker coffee maker here. Um, and just the level, there's a lot of craftsmanship going on here. When you look at the different levels of the countertops, you've got this level here and then another level here. A lot of design and engineering goes into making all that work. It comes down in a very large sink with the copper, uh, with the copper faucet. Plenty of storage here below the sink. And then you've got your dishwasher here as well. Do you have to knock on this or what's? No, just open it. And then your dishwasher, Fisher Paykel dishwasher, as well as more storage below the dishwasher here. And I really like these carpets that they used here. Um, this timeless design, but then below this carpet, you've got that really nice tile flooring as well and everything in real good condition. So 
Over here on this side, you've got your Samsung ref um, uh, microwave. Cover that up with these nice cabinet doors. And you've got a Gaggenau cooktop with a lot of countertop space here. And I really like this floor plan for a galley area here. Someone that wants to do a lot of cooking, a really nice setup where stuff is a little bit separated, but really easy to get to here. Uh, going into the middle of the coach here, we've got our here's your, uh, panel where you can operate all of your lighting, all of your different systems, uh, mechanical systems. Uh, it's all right here. Generator, your Wabasto, distiller, awning controls. And these are the Magnum remote, uh, the Genstart remotes here. That refrigerator, you wouldn't even know it was a refrigerator there. I honestly thought I was opening a cabinet door. But this is that heavy duty Sub Zero refrigerator. You can tell how clean it is inside. Looks like there's some uh, turtle brownies. I'm catching a sweet tooth here, though. I should be going for the bananas. These are both fridges as well, so you can separate some of your stuff. Two of those, as you can see, they're in great condition. And then over here, these are huge freezers. So look at how much freezer space you have. And then a ton of uh, refrigerator space as well. More freezer space here. Uh, really, I mean, this coach is really set up for someone that wants to go down the road. They're, they can bring a lot of food with them. More storage right here. Yeah, you can see these heavy-duty industrial stainless steel hinges. I mean, these are tw almost 20 years old and just still so well cared for. And you can see all the carpet inside of these cabinets are in really good condition. And then I'll show you guys right here this... Uh, pocket air door you just press the door and goodbye all right I'm back so as you come in here to the uh, the bathroom area here you've got your shower kind of in the middle of the coach here I'm going to show you guys the size of the shower here I'm 6'2 very wide plenty of headroom I mean this is a good size shower and then as you can see the tile work in there I really like that tile work on the floor and then a nice bench seat if you just want to sit down and chill out and take a long hot shower and with the Wabasto hot water heater uh, I believe it's around 167 gallons of fresh water you can sit down on that uh you can sit down on that bench seat and take a long shower relax and enjoy that so uh, there's some cool uh, stuff going on in the glass here too you can see all that kind of etched glass very high end you'll notice liberty coach finishes this all out with the mirror with the van with the fan with the vent and you've got another huge full length here mirror here and then a very large closet and uh, i really like this floor plan how the bathroom is kind of a larger a very wide door here going into the head area and you can see you've got a lot of space there and then a lot of countertop space here with your sink, your vanity mirror, all in really good condition, a lot of storage. And then across from your head area, you've got a ton of storage there. And you can see how high end all of this is finished out, all lined with carpet, with these nice drawers, really high end. You can see piano hinges here. I mean, everything Liberty Coach does is so well built. And then you have another sink here, so another area if two people want to kind of get ready at the same time and split it up a little bit, but really an open floor plan with a kind of S hallway coming back into this awesome uh, rear bedroom with the north-south facing bed. And the first thing I want to point out is this very cool artwork on the ceiling, like a Venetian style. And the thing that catches my eyes is these huge Prevo windows. Just a very light, open feel in here. You've got countertop space on both sides of the beds. Um, every, you know, all the blinds are controlled by Crestron, so you can just press a button, open and close those blinds. Um, this is kind of a cool little area over here. It looks like a makeup style area uh, for the gals to be able to just kind of sit down on the bed and do their makeup, uh, if that makes sense. I mean, that's a good use of the space there for the bed there. Uh, never even, I never even knew that about this coach. Uh, more countertop space here, just tons of drawers everywhere in this coach. Little hampers here, uh, just loaded up with storage. So have more wardrobe behind the bed. You can see just a ton of wardrobe here, and then it's got the same wardrobe on both sides. And then, components there are all above your bed but really beautiful how this is finished out and then it's got an LG TV over here 
with the Bose speakers. Now I want to point out over here too is you've got this little panel here, bedside, little bedroom operator panel where you can uh, adjust your ceiling lights, adjust all of your lighting, awning control, all of that good stuff right here. So, And then these are the Prevo windows too that when the coach is stopped, you can open these up and vent out the coach. When it's like a beautiful day like it is here in Oregon, you want to get some of that fresh ocean air, uh, you can, can do that in this coach. So let's sit down and talk money on this coach. And uh, if you're a serious buyer, let's talk about how you guys could buy it. 2003 non-slide Prevo Liberty coach is offered for sale. It is currently in Junction City, Oregon. Um, if you're a serious buyer, the asking price is $399,999 or best offer. This coach has a lot of features that are very expensive that you're not going to see in other coaches on the market. It's got the Girard awnings. I think that was like a $70,000 option new. It's got the chrome wheels. That's a huge expense. It's got the 365 upgrade. It's in great condition, only 96,000 miles. It's been stored indoors. There's no delamination. There's no paint checking. It's not all rotted out, really in great condition. This coach has been very well documented. I filmed it on my YouTube channel several times before has a ton of history and this coach really is a driver this coach is ready to move this coach does not want to sit around if you're looking um, for somewhere to just to plop an rv down this is not the coach for you if you want to go put down 30 40 000 plus miles a year uh, this coach has been serviced at prevo they've completely gone through everything it's had an open check maintenance policy its entire life so really an awesome opportunity there's not a lot of non-slide coaches on the market and if you want to see the full documentation of this coach you can check out prevo life on youtube i can't thank prevo life enough for sponsoring today's video uh, really the most transparent coach on YouTube, Rob and Kara have really just showed everything, the good, the bad, the ugly. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description below. And I've also showed videos of this coach uh, on my channel before, so I'll leave a link to some of those videos below as well. And uh, really an incredible coach with an incredible history and it is road ready. It's been extremely well maintained. If you're a serious buyer, I will leave Kara's information in the description below. I can't thank all of you enough for subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. <music>